Mainline Health has a very robust diversity, equity, inclusion program. We find that people travel from the Philadelphia area and from the regional suburbs all the way up as far as the Scranton and Wilkes-Barre area for LGBTQ specific care. My name is Dane Menken. I'm a family nurse practitioner and divisional director for LGBTQ services at Mainline Health. My patient panel has mostly shifted now to LGBTQ people, but I'm a family nurse practitioner. I really like the broadness of family medicine and I like that it kind of keeps my skills sharp and keeps me exposed to different things that are happening in healthcare. Some of the specialized things that happen for LGBTQ care include things like prescribing gender affirming hormones for people transitioning. It includes things like pre-exposure prophylaxis or PrEP for people that are looking for a daily medication to prevent HIV. It includes very simple things like just sensitive primary care. Finding healthcare as a transgender or non-binary person is really challenging. To have good transgender care, it really requires that you have command over the language for this community. And it really commands that you sit down and listen and understand where they wanna go. So I like to consult because I like to teach. At Bryn Mawr Family Practice, my drive and high level of expectations in the treatment of these patients is palpable. When I speak to a group, I always see them kind of sitting slouched over and not so engaged. And then by the time we're finished and I go back and check my email, there's five emails from them talking about the next time we do this or the things that they think they can implement. I'm one person, so I can do as much as I can do, but if I'm one person that empowers a system of 11,000 employees, that's a lot of accomplishment. It feels really good to know that I'm working someplace and that this system provides care to people that really need care and services. I think the most rewarding thing that I do day to day is walking into a room with a new patient who is pretty much 99% convinced that they're gonna to have to battle me or inform me or educate me. And within 15 minutes of a conversation with them, I see them relax and then I see them start to talk to me about what their goals are instead of what their needs are. That's kind of the ideal relationship of a provider and a patient is that you've met somebody where they're at and now they're open and honest with you and you end the visit with them having a lot of what they want, me feeling good about having provided that, and they're gonna come back and that relationship's gonna keep going on.